Good evening to you. I'm Rashi Batson. Thousands of medical records from a Houston clinic over on the east side were brought at a storage unit auction. And tonight, the buyer is warning patients. We start off with Fox 26's Randy Wallace, who's joining us live from the east side with this story. Randy. Yeah, Rossi, hundreds of boxes of medical files dating back from 2009 to 2019 apparently came from this place, East Houston Medical and Pediatrics Clinic. So far, the clinic hasn't returned our calls or texts. If you've ever seen the TV show Storage Wars, then you know how Ben Rosales came to be the owner of this. This looked interesting to me because those are some high dollar chairs. I seen table back there. Ben thought the contents of all the boxes could be worth something. I bought boxes with collectibles that have comic books in them. And if this was all comic books, we'd be talking thousands and thousands of dollars I would be looking at. What Ben ended up with is a huge headache and possible HIPAA violations. According to my count, it's almost 200 boxes in here, 50 to 60 files in each each one. So we're looking at 12 to 14,000 medical files in here. This is a dream come true for identity thieves, boxes and boxes filled with social security and driver's license numbers. Open bank accounts, you could, you know, open new credit lines and everything with all this stuff that's in here. According to the clinic's website, Dr. Wilson is the owner. He said, how did you get them? And I told him, you know how I got them. You didn't pay your storage. It went up for auction and I got it. Ben says he told Dr. Wilson he would deliver all the files to him for $15,000. That's when he said, I'll call you back in a few minutes. And when he called me back, he just said, don't even worry about it. Just keep them. But Ben says he doesn't want them. He says he's also reached out to medical and insurance providers listed in the paperwork. These people that are in here right now, all these files, they don't know that their information is here not in the clinic's possession anymore. Ben says he's not sure how to get rid of all this confidential information. He just wants it gone. I may end up having to contact a company like Shredit and then see if uh, I can get them involved with one of the news stories and possibly if they want to come out and shred, you know, shred it. It wasn't fine, but we found the clinic closed. Hi, Dr. Wilson. This is Randy Wallace. I'm a reporter with Fox 26. Again, we've yet to hear back from Dr. Wilson. Now, if you're a patient here and you're concerned about your medical records, you should probably contact the clinic. Reporting live from the east side, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.